Hello, my name is Nelson Ferreira and I'm a visual artist and an art tutor living in London and today I'm going to teach you about painting and drawing. To begin the drawing you pick a sharp pencil. Uh, let's start with a 2H, so a relatively hard pencil to have some, some kind of definition and we'll be sketching the outline of the eye. Now remember, as you draw, the outline should be as faint as possible, like almost invisible, because we'll have to make corrections. So let's start very, very, very lightly. If you hold your pencil up the top, it is true that you lose precision, but you gain in lightness. So it's a different set of values. Precision, you can always add it later. If you do come across some part of your drawing that is turning too dark and it's a small detail and you can't possibly hold the pencil higher up because you would lose the accuracy, in that case shift pencils and pick a harder one. Could, you could go to a 3H, 4H, 5H, just carries on. I've seen a 12H once, never used it though. Although, although this shape gets larger or smaller depending on the light conditions and depending on how you feel. But in most eyes, this shape tends to be less than a third of the total size of the circle. So the pupil cannot be too large. Now it's time to start with some of the reflections. Remember that your hand will naturally draw sad curves. So you are at your best when you actually draw in this way. If you need to draw a happy curve, go around your drawing and draw it from the other side or rotate the paper. For the sake of this video, I will not do <laughs> any shift on the paper, but let's bear that in mind. As you draw, now it's time to make some of these lines um, crisper. And by crisper, I mean continuous. So let's start avoiding those tiny little broken lines that happen as you draw. They naturally happen. And it's time to start connecting them so they become one single outline. And as soon as you build that line, it's important to shade right next to it to prevent a very, very strong and artificial outlining effect. And now as you draw, um, to achieve that glimmer in the eye, you need contrast. The white inside the eye will only stand out if it visually contrasts with the rest of the eye. So nothing else in the eye can be white except a spot of maximum brilliance. Now let's start with some of the eyelashes. They're quite faint. Blonde baby. And it's important that as you draw the eyelash, don't make them neither too long or too short. They must have the right size, so please look attentively. They also tend to be somehow a little bit thicker towards the bottom where the hair is growing and finer towards the tip. You should hold your pencil almost all the way down for maximum precision. So the opposite of the previous technique of holding it high up for maximum lightness. In here we want crisp lines and don't overdo it. They're not black and they're not too many either. And finally, with a much softer pencil, I've picked a 6B this time. We can use it for, for maximum black intensity. Hold it all the way down so you have crispness. It must be sharp, a sharp pencil. And you can make the black blacker. somehow just needs to echo a little bit there. 
in order not to feel odd. And that is how you draw eyes with a pencil.